Hello everyone and welcome to TechTood. So today we are going to look at a question based on the concept of arrays. Now this question has been asked in gate 1994. I would request you to please pause the video and read the question first. Now what this question says is we have a lower triangle matrix. What is a lower triangle matrix? So consider a matrix like this for simplicity let's just let's just consider a 4 by 4 matrix now a lower triangle matrix is a matrix in which every cell above the diagonal of the matrix is 0 and for the diagonal elements and below the diagonal we we have some entries for this question, we don't need to know what are the entries, we just need to know what is a lower triangular matrix. Now, this question says that we are given a lower triangular matrix and we want to convert it to a single dimensional array where each row is stored one after the other in a sequential manner. So let's look at how that works on this example. So this is row 1, row 1. Now, for this row 1, which has only one element, we store this element. And this element is element x of row 1. Now, for the next row, there are two elements. So, what we'll do is, we'll, in a sequential manner, we will store these two elements after the first row. And this is the element of row 2. Similarly, we will store the next row which consists of three elements just after we have stored the elements of row 2. Row 3 has three elements and similarly we will now store the elements of row 4 which consists of four elements. Now what the question is asking is if we represent this 4 cross 4 matrix which is a two dimensional matrix into a one dimensional matrix like each row is stored one after the other then for accessing the i comma jth element for accessing i comma jth element that belongs to this matrix what will be the index in this new representation now let's see so we know that the question is asking to access the i comma jth element which belongs to this matrix what will be the index when we represent this matrix in a single dimension now let's first see what this i comma jth element means now for this two dimensional matrix i comma jth element means we need to go to the ith row and access the jth element and when we represent this two dimensional matrix in a, a single dimension we observe that for row 1 we are storing one element and for row 2 we are storing two elements similarly for row 3 we are storing three elements and for row 4 we are storing four elements now similarly when we are going to access i comma jth element we need to go to the ith row and access the jth element let's suppose in this diagram we want to access this element now to access an element of row 3 we are going to skip two rows row 1 and row 2 and get to row 3 and then again count the number of elements in row 3 to reach our desired element so let's say you want to access r comma 2 which is this element so we need to access the element of third row and the second element. Now to access the element of third row, we are going to skip two rows and then go to the second element. In this diagram, to access the element of row 3, we are going to skip the elements of row 1, then elements of row 2, then we will reach the starting of row 3 and then again skip two elements to reach our desired element. Similarly, to access i comma jth element we are going to skip i minus 1 rows i minus 1 rows now because in single dimensional array 
an index is given to each element we need to count how many elements we will need to skip now if we are going to skip i minus 1 rows and each subsequent rows has one element more than the previous rows so for i minus 1 rows we will have a total number of for row 1 we will have one element for row 2 two elements for 3 three elements and similarly for i minus rows i minus 1 element so total number of elements will be i minus 1 into i minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 so this equals to i minus 1 into i by 2 after crossing these many elements we have reached ith row and now we need to go to the jth element so the index index of i comma jth element will be i minus 1 into i upon 2 plus j now again after getting to the ith row we need to skip some elements to get to our desired element here we assume that the index starts from 1 instead of 0 because the options are given such that the index starts from 1 that's why it's make that's why it makes a logical sense to assume that the index starts from 1 but even if the index starts from 0 or anything else you can still solve this question if you know this concept thank you for watching this video goodbye and keep learning